it seems to be a common problem and most people don't understand how and why exactly it happened. have learned that Cameron Boyce died yesterday at the age of 20. He was asleep. His family says he had a seizure that was because of an ongoing medical condition. It's as mysterious as it is heartbreaking. A little girl goes to bed like she does every other night, but this time she doesn't wake up. Was her grandson. His name is, he's four years old and his name is Tyran, and he simply went to sleep and did not wake up. This young man was ready to graduate, but unfortunately, he passed away in his sleep earlier this year. Her longtime babysitter, who ran a licensed home daycare, allowed the girl to sleep in her car seat. But Mia never woke up. One summer evening, a nine year old girl declares she wants to be an author. That night, she died unexpectedly in her sleep. And he never complained of any pain. Buddy returned to his home and never woke up. You will agree with me that no one wants to hear news about death, especially if you lose someone who was so close to you. Imagine going to bed to sleep, only to fail to wake up the next day. Reason being, you died. So sad. You had just big bye-bye to your friend and promised to see each other the following day and even promised to bring along coffee. But that never comes to happen because uh, the following day you receive sad news that uh, your friend passed away and he saw her sleep. So you start asking yourself what could have happened. He or she never complained of her any sort of her illness, never complained of her any sort of pain. What exactly could have happened? Death is part of our life cycle as human beings. Whether you like it or not, one day you will die. And no one exactly knows how they will die. But uh, did you know that uh, a good number of people die unexpectedly in their sleep, even with their loved ones watching? Some people claim that uh, during sleep, death is uh, peaceful and uh, without pain. But is it really the case? So without wasting much time, let's look at uh, the possible causes of uh, death during sleep heart problems. This is the commonest cause and it occurs when someone goes into a heart attack. During a heart attack, heart muscles do not get enough oxygen and parts of the heart uh, muscles may get uh, damaged or even die. So the heart will have problems in pumping blood and oxygen to other parts of the body. Cardiac arrest is another possible cause. This occurs when your heart stops pumping suddenly without a warning or unexpectedly due to a problem with the electrical system that are uh, regulates the rhythm of your heart. Did you know that there is an electrical system that regulates your heart rhythm? Different from uh, the one of the nervous system. I'll tell you about this someday later. Both conditions are a medical emergency, especially cardiac arrest. Note that there is a difference between cardiac arrest and heart attack. In heart attack, the heart continues to beat, but there is a block in blood flow to the heart muscles. And if not treated, it can lead to cardiac arrest. And in cardiac arrest, there is a, or, uh, it's caused by a regular beating of uh, the heart. We call this arrhythmias. There are different types of arrhythmias, but not all arrhythmias can lead to cardiac arrest. If it happens that someone near you goes into cardiac arrest or heart attack, immediately call the emergency number 911 and begin chest compression, 100 to 120 deep compressions per minute. And also patients with a heart attack, you can give them a aspirin or aspirin. It can help her minimize or reduce her heart damage. Both young and old people may be affected by these heart problems, and the exact cause is not known but may be associated with uh, certain factors in other heart conditions. For example, a heart attack may be caused by heart failure, also known as a congestive heart failure. This occurs when uh, heart muscles don't pump blood as expected. So when it occurs, blood backs up and there's a buildup of fluid in the lungs. So this may result to shortness of breath. Myocardial infraction, also referred to as a heart attack, occurs when a uh, one or more parts of the heart muscles don't get uh, enough oxygen supply. So it may be caused by a blood clot that is blocking blood flow to the heart muscles or a plaque that has built up in the blood vessels that uh, has resulted from a uh, high levels of uh, cholesterol in your body. Drug problems such as uh, cocaine and crack. These drugs uh, provide euphoric effect and they are addictive. So what these drugs do, they constrict blood vessels in the heart. So making the heart work harder and faster to pump. Cardiac arrest on the other hand, occurs due to an underlying heart disease, for example, coronary artery disease, enlarged heart defects, and uh, extreme physical stress, drug and alcohol abuse, and also other inherited conditions. Risk increases more with hypertension, smoking, obesity, and uh, family history. 
and also uh, other nutritional deficiencies for example in uh, potassium and magnesium may also increase the risk. Another possible cause is uh, respiratory problems or air detention. So your heart and lungs they normally work interrelatedly or they normally cooperate. So if one is affected the other one is also more likely to be affected or will be affected. So a type of uh, abnormal uh, breathing pattern called uh, shine stock breathing whereby breathing becomes uh, absent for a period and also becomes uh, rapid for a period. It is characterized by progressive deeper and sometimes even faster breathing that is followed by gradual decrease that result in a temporary stop in breathing and we refer to this as a apnea. So the pattern repeats itself with each cycle taking about uh, 30 seconds to 2 minutes. It is uh, an oscillation of a ventilation between a uh, apnea and hyperapnea with a crescendo decrescendo pattern and it's also associated with a uh, uh, changing in serum partial uh, pressures of uh, oxygen and carbon dioxide. This problem can occur during wakefulness or can occur during sleep where it's called uh, central sleep apnea syndrome. It may be uh, as a result of a damage to respiratory centers or physiological problems such as a uh, congestive heart failure. It may be seen in newborns with uh, immature respiratory centers. It may be seen in uh, visitors to high altitude areas and also patients with strokes. Hyponatremia, this is a uh, low sodium levels and also patients with uh, traumatic brain injuries and tumors, toxic uh, metabolic encephalopathy patients, and also patients with uh, carbon monoxide poisoning, coma, and even syncope. So in this condition, breathing patterns may lead to a vicious cycle in which uh, low blood oxygen levels caused by apneas may further damage the heart or disrupt its rhythm. If left untreated, shine stop breathing can lead to uh, changes in levels of uh, carbon dioxide, and uh, this may be fatal or may lead to death. Stroke is another possible cause. Stroke is a life-threatening condition. It occurs when a blood supply to the brain tissues is either blocked or cut off. Stroke is a medical emergency. Urgent treatment is essential. The sooner the treatment, the lesser the damage. So there are three types of a stroke. We have a ischemic stroke whereby blood supply to the brain tissues is blocked by either a clot or a, a plaque that might have built up in a blood vessels as a result of uh, high cholesterol levels in the body or in the blood. Also we have a uh, hemorrhagic stroke which may occur as a result of trauma or burst of uh, blood vessels in the brain. You know these blood vessels are designed to absorb surging pressures so when these mechanisms fail it may result to what we call uh, an aneurysm. So when this aneurysm burst it results to a stroke. Then lastly we have a uh, transient ischemic stroke. It's also called a mini stroke. It serves as a warning that a major stroke is going to occur. So a massive stroke can cause death during sleep. Brain parenchyma is uh, sensitive to low levels of uh, oxygen and death can occur within 5 the minutes. The best way to prevent a stroke is by eating a healthy balanced diet, exercising regularly, avoiding smoke, avoiding drinking too much alcohol. So these lifestyle modifications or changes can help uh, prevent your arteries from being clogged by fatty or uh, by fats which we call atherosclerosis and also can prevent high blood pressures and also taking high blood pressure medication can help prevent your blood pressures from shooting up. Carbon monoxide poisoning also called uh, metabolic poisoning. Some nighttime deaths may occur as a result of uh, accidental tragedies for example carbon monoxide poisoning because it's a colorless gas, odorless and may be released uh, from uh, malfunctioning furnaces and uh, common household appliances or uh, tools. For example water heaters. Uh, dryers, fireplaces and stoves, especially charcoal stoves. So if you ever heard of a person who has been found or a group of people who have been found dead at their home or trapped in their vehicle after fire incidents, they might have been killed by this dangerous gas. It is possible that uh, you can go to bed without an idea that uh, you are bedding in a dangerous environment. Carbon monoxide is a product of an incomplete combustion, often produced by fires in an enclosed space. So carbon monoxide affinity to hemoglobin is 240 times greater than that of oxygen. Therefore, it prevents uh, transportation of oxygen. Carboxyhemoglobin levels can be measured and concentration of up to 10% are dangerous and the patient may need or the person may need supply of a pure oxygen for more than 24 hours and death occurs at a concentration of about 60%. Another metabolic toxin is a result of a house fires is hydrogen cyanide which causes a metabolic acidosis by interfering with mitochondrial respiration. This is probably the most dangerous part of this video because if any of that fireworks smoke actually got into his coffin, he can actually get really sick from carbon monoxide poisoning very fast. And they might just think he fell asleep, but he's actually developed carbon monoxide poisoning. That's one of the symptoms. Do not allow smoke to occur in an enclosed space. That Sounds sudden unexpected nocturnal death syndrome. 
This is a condition characterized by unexpected cardiac arrest, usually in young adults uh, when they are asleep. So this condition was originally described in Southeastern Asia where it is a major cause of death. Most Asian men have been uh, reportedly died from uh, this condition than anywhere else in the world. This condition is also called uh, Brugada syndrome. So Brugada syndrome can cause disruption in heart rhythms. We call this uh, arrhythmia. Specifically, this condition can cause uh, irregular heart rhythms in the lower chambers of the heart. We call this uh, ventricular arrhythmias. So if not treated, uh, this condition can lead to syncope, seizures, difficulty in breathing, and even worse, sudden death. So these complications occur when a person is resting or sleeping. This condition becomes apparent during adulthood, although it can occur at any time during lifetime from infancy to adulthood. So when it occurs in infants, we refer to this as a sudden infant death syndrome, which is a major cause of death in children below one year. The condition can be caused by mutations of one of the several genes, the most common one being a sc 5 a that is altered in about 30% of the affected individuals. Mutations in sc 5 a gene alters the function and the the structure of channels that reduces sodium flow into the cells. So disruption in ion transport can uh, change the way the heart beat and lead to abnormal heart rhythms. Obstructive sleep apnea is another possible cause. This is a condition that causes uh, pauses in your breathing and uh, fails to breathe shortly thereafter. So the muscles that are or the muscles that block your airways are now flexed in your throat. This explains why people with this condition snore during their sleep. So blockage of airways means that uh, there will be low levels of uh, oxygen in the body and oxygen is needed by various organs to perform various functions. So if uh, there's no oxygen or there's low levels of uh, oxygen, these processes can grind to halt. Although it's not clear if uh, sleep apnea causes uh, death directly or is a result of uh, uh, heart problems that commonly occur in uh, people with uh, obstructive sleep apnea. Bay Baker White Reggie, a former American football player, died in 2004 at age 43 due to cardiac arrhythmias and sleep apnea. There are other disorders so far, sleep like a sleep paralysis, characterized by full consciousness but are unable to move, though it does not cause death. According to the uh, United Kingdom National Health Service, sleep paralysis is harmless and those who experience it may have one or two episodes in their lifetime. Some people suffer from somniphobia, a fear of sleep that includes anxiety of a dying mid slumber. This may lead to insomnia and other sleep disorders that may affect our quality of life and even increase your risk to other serious conditions. It's good to check up with your doctor in case you are experiencing any uh, sleep disorders and also manage your individual health risk factors so that you can enjoy many healthy nights to come. Diabetes is another possible cause. There's this term called uh, death in bed syndrome. It describes a uh, sudden unexpected death that occurs uh, in younger adults with diabetes type 1. So it is characterized when someone with diabetes type 1, also called a juvenile diabetes or insulin-dependent diabetes, goes to bed seemingly perfectly fine, is found dead in undisturbed bed. It accounts to about 6% of all deaths that occur in people younger than 40 years with diabetes type 1. The exact mechanism of nighttime death in people with diabetes is not fully understood. But uh, evidence that is there suggests that uh, this may be due to hypoglycemia and also diabetes is associated with uh, heart problems. Low blood sugars may disrupt uh, heart rhythms, which may lead to damage of valves that uh, supply the heart or control the heart functioning, a term that we refer to as uh, autonomic neuropathy. Hypoglycemia associated uh, autonomic failure, abbreviated as a half. Half means that uh, your body has a reduced uh, counter regulatory response to hypos and uh, a reduced uh, hypo awareness. So, uh, reduced counter regulatory response means that uh, your body has uh, a reduced uh, ability to produce uh, epinephrine and uh, adrenaline or glucagon. Glucagon uh, raises uh, the levels of uh, glucose in your body, and a uh, lack of this important hormone will lead to a uh, lack of uh, glucose response, which is uh, a life saving uh, mechanism. And lastly, we have uh, epilepsy. According to the Epilepsy Foundation, each year one in a thousand people with epilepsy die as a result of a sudden unexpected death in epilepsy, abbreviated as a SUDEP. So risk increases more in people who have a poorly managed epilepsy. Patients can decrease their risk by keeping their condition under control. Work with your doctor or your healthcare provider by finding effective treatment plan and also take your medication. That is it for now and before I go, point note, regular checkup with your doctor will help you keep your condition under control and be aware of uh, any health uh, risk factors that might uh, result to these conditions or uh, result to any form of death. So that is it for now. Until next time, let me meet you in the next one.